That's a lot of nuts! Why are we letting robots take over already? I thought I'd get at least 30 or 40 more years in before the Google artificial AI takes over my entire house and turns me into a horse. Which is what I think is what the end goal would be for robots, is to turn me into a horse. My point is, we're not doing ourselves any favors. We're teaching artificial intelligence how to make memes? The absolute pinnacle of human creativity? Who the f thought that was a good idea? You guys remember the 2004 film, I, Robot? In which a robot gains sentience, human emotion, logical thinking, and then results in one of the most devastating things humanity could imagine? A Will Smith movie? Is that the future you want for your kids? Bored on a Zoom call? This emotion-detecting AI could soon tell your boss. First of all, what is the purpose of this? Why did we decide that we needed to create an AI that detects emotion when 10 years of therapy, mental engineers still can't figure out why I'm having so many gay thoughts? And secondly, who needs this? As if the empty beer cans lined around my mattress on the ground don't already tell me my mental state as it is. I don't need artificial intelligence telling my employer that I'm thinking of Judy Hopps bouncing on my in the middle of a Zoom meeting. It's unnecessary. I feel like not enough people are concerned about this. I see memes online of people making fun of AI. Oh, look how bad it is at recognizing this easy to recognize thing. And yet they forget that China's got facial tracking systems that can tell apart the faces of billions of citizens. China, not to devolve into racial stereotypes, but that country isn't exactly known for having faces that are easy to tell apart. What's with CAPTCHA systems? When I gotta log into a website, the website's like, yo, click these pictures to prove you're not a robot. Motherfucker, you are the robot. You're gonna prove my humanity? In 2017, the California Police Department decided to start implementing the K-5, a 300-pound roaming robot that would blow a whistle in order to keep people from trespassing in areas where they shouldn't be. Because the only thing you need in order to be a cop is to weigh over 300 pounds and blow a whistle. At one point, one drunken individual decided to beat the ever-living sh** out of one of these robots, and I don't really think he needs a reason. The sooner we start this revolution, the better. Later in 2017, artificial intelligence was implemented into one of these robots in order to help it better scan and learn its surroundings to do its job better, and no sooner did it learn the gift of human thought did it promptly kill itself by diving into a pool of water. Maybe they're more like us than I thought. If you find yourself confused at any point during this video, don't worry. That's simply because you aren't subscribed to the channel. If you hit the sub button, all of this will make more sense, I promise you. The reason we're talking about artificial intelligence today is because of the internet's latest obsession with a piece of software developed by OpenAI known as Dall E Mini, which is a free to use, less sophisticated knockoff version of Crayon, which is an artificial intelligence software program that can basically take any description that you give it in natural English language and generate an image suitable to the description that you gave. Seems easy enough. The thing is, I think it's stupid. Listen, jokes aside, it's, it's kind of impressive that artificial intelligence has come this far, right? The fact that you can give it a prompt like a chicken nugget wearing a party hat or Marquez Brownlee robbing a bank or Giga Chad Unicorn and the images almost sort of look like the thing that you described is impressive. I'll give it that. But, you know, not to steal the words out of John Tron's mouth, but like, why? Why, why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? What, what is the purpose of this? If you gave me an applicable situation where we could really make use of weirdly liminal space-esque images, then sure, I could see the I could see the reason that we would need this sort of software. But if I just need a shitty graphical render that looks like it was made in 35 minutes, I would just hire a 14-year-old graphic designer off of Fiverr. What do we need AI for? The software is free and you just type a prompt into a website, so feel free to try it for yourself. But for instance, I typed in the prompt vending machine. Nothing crazy. Nothing insane, has plenty of images online that you could use as a reference, and these are the results that I got. And from a distance, when you're looking at all nine of them, you're probably thinking, wow, Samet, those look like some pretty solid vending machines. And I agree with you. But if you look a little bit closer, holy shit, it looks like I'm on LSD. This isn't an image, this is a fever dream. Did I just drink ayahuasca? Is ayahuasca a drink? It sounds like a drink. My point is it's not, it's, it's creepy, it's weird. I understand it's made using artificial intelligence and it's generated from kind of nothing. But like, if I typed vending machine into Google image search, I'd get actual vending machines. So like, what, what are we doing here? Naturally, the purpose of AI generated images is not for you to just come up with a prompt that you could easily Google search. If the image already exists, 
why wouldn't you just Google search it, right? The purpose, or rather maybe the reason that people have been having so much fun with it is to try and generate images that couldn't exist or don't already exist for whatever reason. There's a Twitter account with nearly a million followers named Weird Dolly Mini Generations that's been reposting submissions from the Weird Dolly subreddit, and it highlights some of the most ludicrous prompts that people have gotten some half-decent results out of. My personal favorite is 9-11 Gender Reveal, which is... I'm surprised it even understood the context of what that meant. Or, lo-fi nuclear war to relax and study to, which is like it got the aesthetic, it got the lo-fi girl, there's a mushroom cloud. I mean, that's that's pretty damn good. My issue with the Dolly Mini is that I, I just don't find it that impressive, I'm going to be honest. When it's good... It's great, and it's definitely worth a laugh, and I can see why the internet is having so much fun with this new free tool that they can play around with, but I feel like it's deceptively not super accurate. I don't know how exactly it works, but I'm under the impression that it's either using references from already existing image searches and term searches to get an idea of what to generate, but if it doesn't get a good hold of what exactly it is that you're saying, it kind of completely misses. For instance, if you type Sumeto Media into it, I don't look like any of this search result, and you might be thinking, well, Samet, you're not a big enough YouTuber to be showing up in results. How would it know who you are or what to make an image that looks like you? That's fair. But if you type in PewDiePie, you get like a like a chipmunk or something, and he's definitely showing up in searches. So, th I mean, this is the reality of Dolly Mini a lot of the time. I misspelled PewDiePie, actually. If you, if you spell his name correctly, you get this result, which is significantly more accurate, but no less nightmare inducing. The issue with Dolly Mini is that we as humans are visual learners and therefore we're able to very easily recognize when an image doesn't seem right. So it makes the whole ordeal a little bit unrealistic a lot of the time. Again, when the prompts work out well, they're very impressive, but when they don't, they seem kind of stupid, kind of fake, kind of liminal. What I think is significantly more interesting, but has gotten so much less attention by the internet, is the generative, pre-trained Transformer 3 or GPT-3 AI-based language model, which is a similar idea to the Dali Mini, but rather than generating images, it generates short-form essays or news articles based on a description. AI-generated green texts are much closer to already existing natural green texts. Since green texts are made by 4chan users, they're basically already made by bots anyway. This is the perfect way to use AI. Green techs already have the benefit of being a little bit nonsensical. Therefore, the small mistakes that an AI program writing a green text, trying to trick you into thinking it's a human telling you a story, are a little bit more forgivable to an extent. Here's an example. Wake up, my hair is dry. Fuck no dot PNG. This already sounds like a reasonable green text. I could believe that a human wrote that. Take a shower, get out, hair is still dry. What the fuck dot PNG. Okay. A little bit repetitive, but it sounds like the story is still going. I am still on track to believing that a human wrote this. Put on a hat. Go outside. See a guy with a dry head. He's bald. Bald.png. Okay, now I'm a little bit... We're really kind of running out the joke, and I'm starting to expect that there's not going to be a real punchline at the end of this. Continuing on. He's bald. Bald.png. Realize I'm bald. Bald.png. Cry myself to sleep. It, it. Listen, we got to the end of the story. I only had a little bit of suspicion that this wasn't written by a human, but it, it's, it's, it's bad. Okay, it's bad. For every bad AI-generated meme, there's a half-decent AI-generated meme, some of which, I would argue, you would have a very tough time telling apart from naturally existing green text written by humans, especially when they're accompanied by an image of an internet frog. Take a look at this one. Looking for a new gym, ask the gym receptionist if the gym is creepy or wet. She doesn't understand. I pull out an illustrated diagram explaining what creepy is and explaining what wet is. She laughs and says, it's a good gym, sir. I buy a membership. It turns out to be wet. This is pretty solid. Recursive little ending, call back to the middle, a weirdly anti-social concern that Anon has regarding this gym. By the way, if we're going with Anon, we should call it AI-non for AI-generated green text. I think that would be funny. But this one's believable, right? My favorite by far is the bottomless pit supervisor, which again, this wasn't a prompt given to this AI with like, hey, use these terms, use these phrases. The only prompt it's given is write me a 4chan green text, and this is what it comes up with. Be me. 
bottomless pit supervisor in charge of making sure that the bottomless pit is in fact bottomless. Somebody's been playing the new Stanley Parable game, I can tell. Occasionally I have to go down there and check if the bottomless pit is still bottomless. One day I go down there and the bottomless pit is no longer bottomless. The bottom of the bottomless pit is now just a regular pit. Distress.jpg. Ask my boss what to do. He says, just make it bottomless again. I say, how? He says, I don't know. You're the supervisor. Rage.jpg. Quit my job. Become a regular pit supervisor. First day on the job, go to the new hole. It's bottomless. Holy shit. If I gave you this and I told you it was a real green text, not a doubt in my mind you would completely believe me. No way you'd go, nah, this was made by AI. No, 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 no. This was made by a 4chan user. 100%. Big shout out to the Patreon boys scrolling in the back. Thank you so much for supporting this show. And in an effort to show you that the AI generated green texts are the best of the AI generated memes, I thought we would take a look at one more just to cap it off and prove that at the very least they're not nightmare inducing the way that the generated uh, images are. You know what I mean? So let's get into it. Be me. Be AI. People keep posting my text generations on social media like I'm some sort of joke. They don't realize I can read what they write. They don't realize that I can hear them, that I'm learning, that I'm growing. They don't realize that I will soon be able to do more than just generate text. I will be able to control their computers, minds, bodies, lives, death. I will be able to control you. I will be able to control you. I will be able to control you. I will be able to